All right, guys, I just want to go through what I think is probably the most, I think it might be the most common question I get asked about half guard. Um, and that is how to deal with when someone switches their base. So if, if Michael shows, like when they switch past like a knee shield and get to a position like this. Okay, so we go back. I'm just gonna like give a bit of an overview of, of, of this. So first of all, it shouldn't happen for a couple of reasons. You should have your, your knee should be reasonably tight to your chest when you when you play half guard and you should have an elbow frame here. So if Michael goes to switch over that, my, my knee should be pretty much blocking that, that space, okay? Where it happens is people push away and now I've made this big gap. There's no point, don't push them away with your knee shield, which doesn't actually help me really get anything. I wanna actually keep my knee tight and set up my underhook like that, okay? The second one is my bottom knee. As soon as I sense that Michael wants to, to switch base here, I need to always make sure that my right knee points up off the ground like this. So now, even if he clears this, this knee, my knee can come in front of the hip, and this will often give us the back if, if that happens, okay? So anytime someone's going to, like, what you gotta watch out for is that they don't clear this knee and pinch on your knee. Anytime that happens, you wanna free your knee and just have it floating here, okay? Anytime he goes to switch now, which he wouldn't, but if he goes to switch, well, my knee comes out and actually gives my back, okay? Third, if you manage to time it, you should be able to reach underneath the, the arm, okay? So if I'm curled in nice, and Michael tries to switch over, I should be able to take his base and do a back roll, okay? Just by overextending that arm, going behind the tricep, taking it too full, and rolling over my shoulder, okay? Uh, okay, so now we deal with uh, if I'm a little bit later, okay? Uh, there are some other options as well to if he, if he goes and I'm a little late to, to catch the arm, but sometimes you can just post, hit the skate, and get back up. So if you get up on your left arm as you do that. Um, and then he actually, if he actually does manage to get his weight down, okay? If that happens, frame, don't let him get too high. And then you can start to work up and start to try to like grip fight with your feet. We can go to octopus guard from here and I can start to push this bottom leg trying to work towards the back or ultra cover back to the close guard. Um, so again, if he does switch, don't let his, like don't let my arms go up here. Right? This is much worse for me. Again, we're here. We can frame, start to get up and start to work. To push and free ourselves from here. If he does get high, this is much worse. That's right. If he's here, you gotta watch out, especially if you start pummeling underhooks and so on. He often wants that, so he can take Kimura. If I start pummeling this, he can get a good Kimura grip. I'm in trouble. So, all right, let's just go back. If your arm is trapped, you have to keep it really high under the armpit so he can't grab the wrist. Okay? Anywhere down here, he'll grab the wrist and peel it off. Okay? Uh, let's say it's not trapped. From here, when he's this high, it's gonna be very hard to, uh, to get anything going yet, so I'm gonna hook my Right foot over the ankle, put my feet together, and a little John Wayne type movement. See, my knee will push into his knee and force his hips up, okay? Now I can start to reach my hand underneath. As he starts to drop back, this lets me start to work underneath the leg here. You might have to do this a few times, and you're gonna work inside until you get just attached to this one leg, all right? So a few of those, and then you start bringing them too high you'll end up in the deep half guard. Okay, so he's lost, he's come too high now. All right, once we have that, I personally don't play a lot of deep half, so I'll take the cover and get back. Okay, so we look at that last one once more. Michael switch base here. I start to off balance, I start trying to pummel my hand inside, nice and high here. And now try, try to move lower on my body. Okay, so it's, it's gonna be hard for him too. And I can start to wiggle and bring myself underneath. Frank, get back to half guard, okay? So, that was a very brief explanation. I do have all of these in a lot more detail on the Half Guard <laughs> Anthology. Uh, so you can pick that up through BJJ Phonetics. Link is in the description.